In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, in this Monday in the Holy Week, we accompany Jesus in his sorrowful journey towards Calvary. Yesterday, our Lord entered triumphantly in Jerusalem. And today, our Lord went to Bethany to see his friend, Lazarus. Lazarus, who was brought back to life by our Lord. While being at home with this, his friends, Lazarus, Martha, and Mary, the Mary started to anoint Jesus' feet. And uh, Judas, the, the Iscariot, the one who was already planning in his heart to betray our Lord, was looking at that action and he was murmuring in his heart and complaining to our Lord, why wasting such a precious anointment while we could uh, rather sell it and give the amount to the poor? A good excuse, but he was a thief, the gospel says. He was not caring for the poor. He wanted to get the money that would have come from that uh, selling of the anointment. But this, this moment is very significant. We can meditate upon this reaction of Judas and on that uh, pitiful action of Mary, the one who was caring for our Lord giving the priority to Jesus. Jesus' answer is very significant. The poor are always with you, but I'm not always with you. To say, it's not despising, of course, the poor. It is important to take care of people in need. But before we think of doing something charitable towards the poor, we have to look after our Lord, to give priority to Christ, to adoration, to the liturgy, to also precious things that we use in the liturgy, such as anointments, incense, and the chalices, and the vestments. It is not about taking something from the poor when we do all this for Christ when we, the church has such a magnificent uh, set of vestments and uh, precious uh, chalices and uh, ciboriums and so on. It is not about robbing something from people in need. It is about seeing the hierarchy of goods. God is always first. Adoration comes first. And the way to show this submission to God, to uh, see him as the first, is necessary. And this takes priority over any service the church does to the poor. The very uh, foundation of Judas' argument is not uh, the care for the poor, it is rather the envy towards our Lord, the envy towards the church, for what the church does in acknowledging these precedents, the precedents of God. People like Judas always have something to complain about the church. The church is too rich, the church is now uh, too much detached from the people, and so on. These people are only envious because we acknowledge the presence of God. God is first. This kind of complaint is very materialistic. And at the end of the day, this complaint is something to please oneself to find one's satisfaction, even in religion, in serving 
God, putting oneself first instead of Christ. The poor normally are an excuse to simply please oneself and look for one's uh, satisfaction and pleasure, even in serving, saying, apparently serving God. This is the preparation for uh, this sorrowful passion and death of our Lord. We have, on the one hand, Mary's attitude, that service for Christ, the adoration of Christ, the way to take care of our Lord's needs, and on the other hand, against this religious attitude, we have Judas envy. We have that human way to complain about religion and worship to serve oneself, to serve one's belly, we should say. So uh, the world is always this conflict between God and the people who deny God because they want to please themselves. This is the reason of Jesus' passion. And this conflict comes more into play when Jesus is accused to uh, even pretend to be the Son of God when he is a simple man of Nazareth. Jesus will show that he is the Son of God by doing his miracles, by as he did with Lazarus, in fact. But even before the evidence of a miracle, people have still to say something. People are not happy because they don't want to be saved. They don't want to choose God. Let us imitate Mary today in this service for our Lord. Let us have clear ideas about faith, liturgy, prayer, and poor. There is always this hierarchy to respect. First, faith, adoration, liturgy, which has to be precious, and then the service of charity towards other people for the sake of Christ, never preferring the poor to Christ, so to speak, but to serve Christ in the poor. With this in mind, we journey with our Lord towards Calvary, ready to suffer ourselves for defending this priority of God in the world, for suffering with Christ in his sorrowful passion and death. May Our Lady accompany us to be compassionate during this Holy Week, to be risen with Christ on Easter Sunday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.